Hello, and today we are going to use Wilcom Hatch software to um, create a heart that's got three shades of a color in there. Um, it's going to be done from a graphic that I have purchased. So the first thing we're going to do is import our artwork. And I've got uh, some artwork that I've purchased. So what I'm going to do is actually kind of um, resize this graphic so that it will fit inside my hoop. And then I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Um, I'm going to go into my digitizing tools and I'm going to select digitize a closed shape and uh, lay my first point out and when I go around this curve right here that you're going to see that separates the um, lighter from the darker pink uh, after I lay that first node down I'm going to do the right click to show that it's um, a curved and it'll automatically curve uh, I will get here and place that there I'll keep going around doing pretty good to, to get it on the heart and then um, when I get to this point here I'll go ahead and left click and then as I go around I will continue to right click get this close up here and then hit return to close this off um, I'm going to change my threads um, Let's go with a carnation pink on this one. Now right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this uh, particular one because I'm going to um, digitize this little color right here, this little accent color. So I will lay my first point. I will right click, right click, right click, right click here, here here just keep going on around hit return to close it out so um, I will select this one and I'm going to make it say crystal pink um, so when I unhide this it you can see the color difference here now um, but I'll, I'm going to go ahead and hide this one again and we're going to digitize this a uh, little bit darker color so we're going to digitize another closed shape we're going to uh, start it with the left click here right click right click right click it's just following this curve around when you get here you will do a left click come down here right click right click right click left click because you're at the point this is straight so I'm going to do a left click left click left click right click right click bring it up close and close it out so with this one right here I'm going to change this color to uh, and one they call rose bloom so this one since it's hid I'm going to go ahead and say unhide all so that we can see everything now I've done digitizing this design so um, if we hide this for a second we will see that this is a full fill here and we don't necessarily want that because um, when you stitch it out it'll have the underlay and everything so it's liable to make it uh, really thick and uh, one of the things that we're going to do is we will select this and we will do um, I think it's remove overlaps and if you look up here you can see that the hole is now cut into this so let's hide this again and you'll see yes that the hole is cut so that when the stitches um, it will have a little bit of a over you know uh, edge where it overlaps this medium pink now this one right here um, 
say we don't like the angle of um, the stitches we can change the angles and hit return and it'll change it um, also if you go into reshape we can move the start and end points around to different places on here and that should um, change it up a little bit as well so that when it starts stitching it'll actually start right there or let's move it here and um, that's one of the things that you can do so I hope you enjoyed this small video you learned how to digita digitize a three colored heart uh, and carve out the area where the overlap is. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye.